Mistake number one, choosing a mark without screening the mark first. Don't do it. Here are the consequences. You don't own the mark. You may be sued for infringement and required to pay damages to the rifle trademark owner. You're gonna be embarrassed and to your customers and you're gonna need to incur the cost of changing your mark. Don't do it. Screen the mark first. Trademark mistake number two, choosing a mark that is weak. A weak mark is, for example, a mark that is descriptive of the goods and services associated with the mark. Don't do it. Here are the consequences. You have questionable ownership in that mark. It's going to be very difficult to enforce the rights that you may have in, the, in, in, that, in that mark. And you're going to lose business to, the, to competitors. Don't do it. Choose a strong, unique mark. Trademark mistake number three, not registering your trademark with the USPTO. Then do it. Here are some consequences. It is going to be very difficult to prove that you are the owner of the mark. Therefore, very difficult to enforce the mark against competitors. A competitor could register your mark before you, and you may need to incur legal expenses to try to cancel the registration. Then do it. Register your mark as soon as possible. Trademark mistake number four, claiming the wrong owner in a trademark registration. Don't do it. You're not going to be able to enforce that registration against the competitor because the registration is subject to cancellation. Thus, claim the right owner. The right owner is the individual or the entity who controls the use of the mark. That's the owner. Claim it right. Trademark mistake number five, improper use in commerce. If you have a trademark registration, you need to make sure that you claim the right use in commerce and you continue to use the mark in commerce the correct way. For example, for goods, you need to sell the goods across state lines. You need to do that, otherwise the registration can be invalidated by a competitor. 